welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am super excited about today's video. I'm excited all the time, but I really am. This weekend, this Memorial Day weekend, we, my husband and I, we, Peter Parker, went to Stormville, New York, which is the home of Flea Market Flip. If you haven't seen the show, it's on HGTV and the host is Lara Spencer. I was looking for her there, but I uh, couldn't find her. Anyway. <laughs> If you don't know what Flea Market Flip is, it's basically a show on HGTV where they have two sets of contestants. They're given a budget. I think it's a $500 each. They have to pick three items that they have a day to transform. They have to sell their pieces and then see who makes the highest profit. I love that show. I have wanted to be a contestant on that show. But uh, Peter Parker and I would probably get into a lot of arguments, so that's not a good idea. Stormville Antique Flea Market is amazing. If you're into the farmhouse style like I am, you will be in heaven. They have so many fantastic things there, and you can haggle with them, especially if you buy more than one piece from a vendor they will definitely give you a really good price if you're ever in new york you have to pay this place a visit it is absolutely worthwhile they're only there for a few dates you have to look online and search for the dates but my husband and i always make it out there at least twice in the summer the first thing that i picked up was this huge clock this is my favorite find i couldn't believe i got this you know for how much 20 bucks now it's missing the hands and i will have to um put a new battery thingy back here but for the price oh and it's also got like a lifted one of the numerals is kind of lifted nothing that a little e6000 can't fix for 20 bucks Come on. Interesting thing that I found out was this is sold at Kirkland's. Can you believe it? Yep, it's the Addison Open Face Clock. They sell it for $129.99 at Kirkland's. It's 45 inches. It has a black finish. It's got bronze distressing, and it also has these beautiful nail head accents. I love this i'm gonna put this in my dining room we have a lot of rearranging to do <laughs> not we peter is going to have to um put this up in the dining room but i think it's going to make a great addition to my apartment the next thing i picked up was this piece of wall decor it's all distressed wood and it's got this metal scroll design you know how much i paid for this fifth dollars I'll show you at the end of the video where I decided to put it but I think it's a great quality you know we went to Hobby Lobby after Stormville and I saw things that were similar to this at Hobby Lobby and they were not the same quality they were also a lot more expensive so this was a really good find I've been looking for keys like antique vintage keys and I picked this up for $3. It's just so cute. It really, it really is old. I don't know if you can see that. Very rustic looking and I love this thing. Now this was an exciting find. This distressed corbel. I adored this and really I should have bought more. This was 15 and if you buy two, they give it to you for 25. So I think it's a really great price for something this large. I mean, look how big this thing is. These things go for a lot more money. I've wanted one of these for a long time. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but definitely a beautiful decorative piece. And for the price and the quality, we're gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to get a few more of these. I also picked up a dough bowl. This was $5, it's the small one, and I think the bigger ones were like 10, 15, that way they went up small, medium, and large. It's made out of wood. I'm gonna put like, I don't know, some decoration in there and put it on one of my tables in my living room. I have a big dough bowl that I picked up at Target, but this one was already distressed and it's gorgeous. Now I also picked up this thing. I don't know what it was originally, but it was $10. It's metal. I thought the X made it super farmhouse. Peter thought I was nuts, but 
I have an idea for this. I'm gonna make this into a bench for my entryway. I mean, I could buy a bench, but why if I could find something like this and convert it into a bench? I will keep you guys posted on my progress, but for $10, yeah, I thought this was a good find. The last couple of things that I picked up were two tote bags. They were two for $4, and I thought that that was a really great price, especially for the quality. I think this one is really, really nice. It is a very sturdy, thick, hard burlap, and I love the strap. It's faux leather, not real leather. It's brown, and I love it. And then this one is just your to just your cha 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 cha. This one is your traditional type of tote. Two for four dollars. You can't go wrong. Make a trip out to Stormville. You will not be sorry. I also went to Hobby Lobby. I don't have a Hobby Lobby near me, so up in Stormville, I think it's Wappinger Falls. Up in Wappinger Falls, there is a Hobby Lobby, so I also went there, and I was super excited. I've never set foot in a Hobby Lobby, so you know your girl went crazy, right? I order from them all the time, but actually walking into the store was such a treat. I felt like a kid in a candy store. I lost it. I left Peter behind, and I was all over the store. I didn't pick up too much. I don't want to pick up things that I'm not gonna use or that I have, there's no purpose for. I'm famous for doing that and I don't want to do that anymore. I just wanna buy items that bring me joy. <laughs> they were having 50% off their wall decor. So I picked up this beaded love sign. At $7.99, I would not have purchased this, but with the 50% off, I got it for $3.99. These wood beads have a heart with the word love written in cursive and a cute jute tassel. So for $3.99, I think that was a pretty good buy. I also picked up this wood pedestal candle holder. This is the small one. They have, I think, a larger one, which is more money. I didn't see it there. I love it. It's got like a metal top. I got this for $3.49. It used to be $6.99. It is a wood pedestal base and it's distressed. And then the metal candle plate on top has a finish that gives it a full galvanized appearance. And you can use this to put like a real candle on there or one of those flameless LED candles. But I thought it was really cute so I picked that up. And what else? This brown vintage looking key and it has a little hole up here so that you could either hang it on the wall or hang it from a hook, but I thought it was adorable. This key is a nice size. It's seven and a half inches long. It was originally $3.99 and I got it at 50% off as well for $1.99, which I honestly think is a great price for this beautifully detailed skeleton key. I am like in love with keys. So I picked up florals. I didn't pick a lot of them up because I didn't want to, again, overbuy, but they were all 50% off. I got two of the dark lavender. These were originally uh, $3.99, so $4. So I got them for $1.99, and I think they are gorgeous. I'm not a flower person. I should say I'm not a flower connoisseur. I don't know my flowers, but I picked up a bunch of these. I wanted yellow. I thought it would be great for summer. These were $4.99, so I got them for $2.50 each. $2.50? I don't know math. Very, very pretty. The quality of these things are just to die for. Good job, Hobby Lobby. I picked up the cream colored ones as well, just to break it up a little bit. And then I picked up these, which were also $4.99, so I got them for $2.50. Really love Hobby Lobby's florals. I mean, they're a little pricey, but you know, if you can get them on sale, it's a really good buy. Two of my favorite finds at Hobby Lobby, and I had Peter put them up. You know, he had to make up for um, the finial thing. 
So I put him to work. So I got this gorgeous welcome sign. It was originally $39.99 and I got it for 20 bucks. This is such a nice sign. It's 34 inches wide. It's about 12 inches in height and the frame is distressed. It's got this white painted script on a brown wood palette. I absolutely love this thing. Even at 40% off, you could get it for $23.99. And so at $20, I just had to have it. Last but not least, I picked up this wall shelf. It has these rustic farmhouse style metal hooks. It was originally $29.99. And at 50%, I got this for 15. I love the style of this shelf and I love the color and I love the hooks. I really wanted to do my entryway over. It was a hot mess and I think with some of these items I can definitely improve the look. I'm still not done. I have to finish up the bench and maybe give this a coat of paint but for now I'm really loving it. And again if you're ever in New York try and make it up to Stormville. It's a treat. It really is. I will see you in my next video. See you soon. Bye. Love you guys.